How far behind are Chinese CNC machines, really? Let's put it this way. Just to make a small engine part, the equipment still has to be imported. So let's take a look at how a crankshaft goes from a raw blank to a finished product. The first step is facing the ends and drilling a center hole. For that they use a machining center made in Spain by Aceta. Next comes turning the main shaft, the shaft head, and the flange. The lathe is from Germany's Niles Simmons, and the cutting heads are from Kenna Metal in the United States. Each tooth on the cutter holds a different tool and every tool handles a different section. Then it moves to milling the connecting rod grooves and the main shaft fits. Again on a Niles Simmons machine from Germany. This step demands extremely high precision. If the grooves are even slightly off, the connecting rods will wear out faster during operation, which directly cuts down the engine's lifespan. After that, deep oil channels are drilled into the crankshaft using a high-precision deep hole drilling machine from Spain's Aceta. These passages allow oil to flow through and lubricate the bearing surfaces. Next is heat treatment and quenching. The machine here is a high-frequency induction hardener from Germany's SMS Elotherm. Electromagnetic induction rapidly heats the surface of the crankshaft. Then, it is quickly cooled to harden the outer layer. That boost in surface strength makes the crankshaft tougher and more durable. After heat treatment, more holes are drilled into the crankshaft to reduce its weight, once again with a CIDA drilling equipment. The hollow design of the journals also helps cut down centrifugal force when the crankshaft spins. Then comes grinding the main and rod journals. For this, they use a dual-wheel tracking grinder from Landis in the United Kingdom. CBN grinding wheels shape the surfaces with high precision, while an Italian Marpos measuring head monitors accuracy in real time. The next step is balancing. This is done on a Schenk dynamic balancing machine from Germany. By drilling small holes into specific spots, the weight of the crank crankshaft is perfectly balanced. That balance reduces the centrifugal forces from the rods and crank throws, helping the engine run smoother and easing stress on the journals. Finally, the crankshaft goes through polishing on a fully automatic honing and polishing machine made by Nagel in Germany. This smooth finish reduces friction inside the engine. Just from this step alone, fuel consumption can drop by 7 to 10 percent. So, after seeing all these imported machines at every stage, how many years behind do you think Chinese CNC technology really is?